Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be vlogging today. I had this brilliant idea of bringing you to the Dubai mall today. I actually haven't gone there and shopped ever since I got my Chanel bag. I usually don't go to Dubai mall just because it's very overwhelming. I do prefer Mall of Emirates, but whenever there is a specific thing I want to look into, I usually do go to Dubai mall because they have a lot of stock and they do have a lot of variation of different stuff. So I have a wish list, right, of things, luxury stuff. And I just really want to go to Dubai Mall, try them on, see the different sizes, the different options, the different colors. You know how it is when you're going to buy something expensive. You kind of want to go there a couple of times. So on my makeup, I am going to get dressed. But before then, can I just show you this beautiful nightgown I got from a company here in Dubai. It's called Flawless Arts Dubai. I can make sure to put it down below. Oh my god, it's a dress. I'm so sorry, I can't really show you properly. But it's a dress with this beautiful mesh. Um, kind of jacket over it. It's amazing guys. It really has all the different colors But I just got white and black because I feel like they're the most Wearable as it is Loungewear. Oh my god, love it. I do tend to wear the dress by itself a lot as well I'm Just literally obsessed with this. So stunning. I definitely think I'm gonna wear Abaya today just because going to Dubai mall It's so easy to take on and off but also I just kind of feel like wearing more modest clothing when going to the mall because There's like a lot of locals there and what I've been loving to do lately is actually wear my linen pants with a like a Zara basic top. Wear the abaya on top of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put on some fragrance and then we are good to go. And I think I'm going to go for a Baccarat Rouge 540 today. I really do love this fragrance. I just don't wear her very often because it's such a strong one. And also I feel like everyone in Dubai has it. So I just tend to go for my other perfumes. But sometimes I just really fall in love with it and I wear it. Like literally guys, one spread is enough. I'm going to be book a taxi and then let's head off. I'm excited. Exciting. Let's go. Hello. We just got to Fashion Avenue. We haven't been here in so long, right? Like we usually don't come to Dubai Mall. Hi. Usually only go to Mall of Emirates because everything is so much easier there, but it's actually eight today, so I feel like there's not gonna be so much people. So this is the list of the places that I wanna go in today. So I'm just gonna look for these stores and yeah, then we're good to go. The reason to why I wanna check out all this stuff today is because we actually decided to go home to Sweden. We don't really have these brands in Sweden. Like you can order the stuff, but I wanna go into the store and actually try on uh, different sizes and different colors. So that's why I decided to kind of collect all the stuff I'm looking into and do it all today yeah people are staring guys i know i look like a crazy woman vlogging but we're just gonna go into cartier first and i just want to try on the love ring and there's always queue outside these stores guys but like it's not that bad today so we have cartier here and then we're gonna go to hermes and see some sandals so we're just at hermes and i'm looking at their sandals i really love this one guys but it's actually for men so the smallest size is 39 and as you can see, it's gonna be quite big on me. That's like the only thing, because I really prefer this one over the women's sandals. It's just because it's a bit more, I don't know, like masculine and chunky. That's more my style. This is the two different colors. And as you guys can see, they're a little bit too big for me. Like actually not in the camera, but they feel slightly too big. And it's so unfortunate because they're so pretty. Guys, the store is so beautiful. Sorry? I can't feel. Okay, I'm sorry. Just left her mess. I didn't pick up anything. The security guard was running towards me like, you cannot film. I'm like, wow, like chill. I think let's head towards either Loro Piana or Van Cleef. Let's see which one comes first. On Van Cleef, we're gonna go in there and then after that, we have Laura Piana there, perfect. By the way, show them this area is like the... This, this is, like is the Fashion area. Avenue in Dubai Mall. This is like where the luxury high-end stuff is. And it's like a big area, everything is collected. And then I think towards that way you have like Zara and all those stores. Dubai Mall is very touristic. Like if you're a tourist, I definitely think you should come. But when you live in Dubai, you definitely do prefer Mall of Emirates. I've spoken to a lot of friends who feel this way. Just because everything is I'm more the, easily found. I'm like the only one that doesn't agree. Philip loves Dubai Mall. I don't understand though, because every time we come here, we just end up walking way too much, get way too but tired. Like, so anything you want to find, you can find in this in mall. I mean, you definitely have everything here, but it's also a long walk. Literally anywhere you go, you will end up 
walking forever just not my vibe I'm lazy by the way you might not be able to film inside but we'll try to get some snippets i will try to find a way for you guys here to look at the alhambra bracelet i am in love with this piece they have this sweet option it's a smaller version and it's just one flower but i think i am actually looking for the like this one the one with more flowers so i'll actually try on both and show you guys just trying on the onyx and the blue she didn't have the mother of pearl in stock actually so i don't know the thing is the white one is very sensitive that's also why i'm looking into these i don't know guys we just left van cleef and she didn't have mother of pearl because it's eight and apparently everyone got all of them i was just like that's so annoying like it's just my luck right anyway we're gonna go get food i feel like food is definitely gonna fix all the problems in the world mm -hmm. i want to get burgers but i feel like no it's not eat my heart so anyway so we're gonna go look for some food because i feel like that will be the solution to all the problems in the world we just sat at nando's it's so loud i'm so sorry about it guys but we just got a full platter of food as you can see four sides a full chicken mm. good mash did you try it mm. so good guys look at this amazing dress from oisho the back is amazing like are you kidding me oh my god run to oisho right now and get this dress it is so effing nice for the summer i have never been so disappointed in a shopping spree in my life <laughs> we were at dubai mall quite literally the entire day it is quarter till seven and we are just arrived back home so disappointed but i do know i have a pr so i'm gonna go pick that up from the lobby and then go back home just opened the door and i had this beautiful pr from azadia you can make sure to put her instagram down below it is a abaya with these beautiful sleeves i am in love but this is the best part about today like literally wow and then it comes with this headscarf or is it the dress oh it's the dress perfect so i can wear this underneath i just tried it on and look how bougie these sleeves are can you guys tell i've been obsessed with like fluffy sleeves lately they're just everything it makes me feel so bougie i will relax for the next hours until actually i go to bed because i am so tired i mean dubai mall is killing me today like even when i'm there i can feel like i'm getting annoyed because it's so much people there's kids running around there's people walking into i just can't stand dubai mall like from now on i'm only going to the mall of emirates if there's like one specific thing i need i will run into dubai mall get it and literally run out because i cannot stand that place it's literally hell on earth I'm wearing a dress, promise I'm not naked, it literally looks like I'm naked um, We are gonna go for brunch, I have been invited to brunch and cake here in Dubai And it's a place that we've both been wanting to really go, me and Philip It is almost too so late, I've been filming all morning um, Try on hauls and a YouTube short and a TikTok, so it's been a very hectic morning And um, yeah, we need to be at brunch and cake in 20 minutes So this is my outfit, I'm wearing this green midi dress from a brand called norma kamali so nice i love it my hair is just up and yeah i'll see you guys at brunch just got all our food our brunch let's say philip ordered this lobster thing and it's like so weird because he doesn't even eat fish food or like seafood 
just want to try it. It smells so fishy. But guys, look at this acai. Like, it looks so good. And then I got this. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Philip said I should take it. Something comes on it. Do you like it? Actually, pretty good. No way. Actually, pretty. It tastes so almost like beef. It's mac and cheese with a lobster. because we were taking pictures but I think I'm gonna eat the acai first just because it can melt also why do we not order espressos more often like it's so convenient like no stomach aches because of the milk it's literally just coffee Today it's Monday and on Thursday I'm going back home to Sweden. I've already started packing. I've got a lot of my stuff in suitcases. We don't have many days left now. So as we are going home in literally like three days, I decided to treat myself. I went to the store around four times to try it on in different colors, different shapes, just to make sure this is the piece I really wanted. And shall we do an unboxing? I think definitely. Honestly, you guys, I've gotten so much better at not spending my money spontaneously. Like just a year ago, I would have gone into a store, like something and just pick it up. Now I'm more like, especially if it's expensive, I need to go into the store a couple of times, make sure this is exactly the way I want it to be. I have definitely deserved to pick up this piece. The amount of times I went in, the amount of thinking I've done, Let's just say I am in love. So this is my first Van Cleef piece. I don't own a lot of nice jewelry. That's also one thing like I usually spend my money on bags and shoes, but I was like, hey, like jewelry, you're gonna wear it all the time. So this is the box. Oh my God. I get as excited looking at this box, you guys. So are you ready? <gasps> stop. Actually stop. Oh. So this is the Alhambra bracelet, five motif. I was actually thinking about getting the white one, the mother of pearl. Initially, I was going to pick up that one. But after I found out that that one is so fragile, you're not even supposed to take a shower with it. I just felt like it was not a good purchase, me picking up something so expensive and it being gold and you can barely take a shower with it because the stones are real stones so it can actually like not be as nice if you take showers and stuff with it. Anyway, long story short, I picked up the gold one just because it's more versatile and it fits my lifestyle better and I just can't. Like it's the most stunning piece I've ever laid my eyes on and it's so me, I love it. So what do you guys think? And I also got it resized, so within the same day they resized it for me and I am so excited to have it for summer and like on tan skin it's amazing. What? Bad Philip. Huh? We are gonna eat. Leave! <laughs> We're gonna eat some lunch from the Glow Paradise. This place is so good, you guys. It's healthy food. They even have like sweets that are healthy options. Okay, this is the juice I got. The Glow Paradise Belly Fat Buster. Wow, they really fill it with chicken though. Ooh, this is so good. You're smacking a lot in the camera. Aloe vera, grapefruit, mint leaf, lemon kiwi, but wow. I enjoyed it. Mmm, really nice. I am just outside my nail salon. I'm gonna go in and have my mani and pedi. Stop crying. Also have this huge bag of clothes I'm gonna give to one of my friends. She's gonna meet me after my appointment. I've been giving out so much clothes these days to all my friends just because I'm trying to get rid of everything. Oh my God, what's going on with the light? Anyway, I'm outside my nail salon, guys. See you soon. We just finished 
finished getting my nails done I went for um, a classic red nail love it so much ordered some toast with fruits on top and a juice and just waiting for my friend to come meet me I'm gonna give her the bag of clothes and then I'm going home straight after that because I have so much packing <laughs> gift from Charlotte Tilbury just because I'm going back home so she got me the setting spray that I was raving about in my favorites video like how thoughtful is that actually such an angel I think I showed you guys I got a classic red manicure I love it so fresh and on my toes I'm not gonna show you actually I just got like usual I always get like um natural color I prefer to just chill right now because i'm so tired today's heat has been really tiring me i would love to take a nap but we can't because we need to start packing i have finally gave away all the clothes i needed to give away to all my friends i think at least i'm gonna chill for five minutes give myself five minutes drink some water and then we shall let the packing begin to be honest guys if there is one thing that i'm really happy about this whole us going to sweden is the fact that we actually are checking out from this apartment and never getting back here because i have honestly hated living here and i think that's mainly the reason to also why i haven't been feeling like vlogging as consistently as before i haven't been making my weekly vlogs and big part of it was because once we moved here i just wasn't vibing with the area i wasn't vibing with the apartment the furnishing is disgusting like i have just been um doing everything to escape the apartment i've done everything to try to get out of here and go out and do as much as possible outside I just haven't been feeling like home here anyway so once we get back to dubai we will obviously start to look for a long-term apartment that being something completely different from this different area this is actually in business bay and i do not love it here it's only businesses and offices here there's not much to do and yeah i'm just excited to leave this apartment i'm gonna start by emptying out these drawers these are filled with like electronic stuff passports boxes of jewelry so i'm just gonna sort everything here out and then move on to my clothes and then makeup eventually the goal is to actually be done today this is such a bad angle the goal is to be done today like with everything so that tomorrow we can just chill our last day and as we're going out tonight I might actually be over tomorrow so I just want to get done. I really want to get done. I tried to do this as oh my god, cash. That sentimental man and woman called me up. Uh, in the shower put a face mask on i'm going to be eating food we just ordered some from talabat and philip is downstairs to bring it let me show you guys the packing how it's looking this is all the packing we're bringing home that's philip's bags those are mine i still have some space that's philip's bag as well and we're just washing some laundry right now and basically doing all the last bits so weird i know it's just honestly a bit of a relief to leave this apartment as i said about two hours i need to start getting ready because we are going out tonight we're gonna have a girls night out with my swedish friends here in dubai you guys have not met them actually i met them just a month ago and we've just been really getting along so we're gonna go out with them to a restaurant called riv guash i think that's gonna happen around 9 45 tonight so before then i just I'm gonna get really fucking hot that's pretty much my only plan because it's my last going out or last evening in dubai for a while 
food is here, guys. Oh my god, it looks so fire. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Got some parm. It looks so cheesy and fluffy. Oh my god. The only thing that's annoying is this face mask that I have on right now. It gets really like. You can't eat with it. I can't move my face. Yeah. Like, I don't know why you eat when you have a face mask. Nobody does that. I don't know. I, I didn't know it, it was gonna come this Okay, early. but go wash it off. No. It needs to. So it's now currently. 8 15 and i am done with like pretty much all the packing i need to do for today um i've also uploaded a collaboration so that's done which feels good and now we can celebrate cheers i had a bit of wine left in the apartment and i figured might as well drink it before we go out tonight um yeah i'm just doing my makeup i've done my base i'm gonna go on to do my eyes and then i actually want to freshen up my hair i feel like I know it's so frizzy and it's definitely because the heat once I style it and go out it just ruins uh, okay let's do something I got drunk while getting ready so I forgot to vlog I'm so sorry like I'm so tipsy right now <laughs> this is my outfit it's a Zara dress Dior bag my hair is like I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but I'm gonna rock with it because my hair is crazy at the minute. Like, the frizz is taking over. It's not cute. Oh my god, I feel like I should brush my teeth. My mouth stinks from all the wine that I've been drinking. <laughs> I'm so drunk. <sighs> I'm gonna vomit on someone's face today. <laughs> Stop. Your glasses are wine. Can you imagine? This is what happens when you don't drink for a while. It is so foggy outside. Here is my taxi, but oh my god. I don't think you can see it. The restaurant we're headed to, I've been there once before. And it's a French restaurant, but it's kind of like very much party vibes. So we'll see how it goes. Good morning everyone. I haven't been feeling this hungover in a while. Like it would be an understatement to say I'm just hungover because Philip knows. I was drinking quite much yesterday but we had a lot of fun. Came back home at around 2, went to bed, woke up. It's now actually our last day in Dubai. So I was like not gonna vlog and then Philip's like, hey, it's your last day, you should do it. Um, we are going to the Mall of Emirates because I have some returns I need to make before leaving tomorrow. And Philip also wants to eat some junk food. Not feeling my best, so bear with me. But I still am gonna vlog for you. Oh then. my god, you guys, look at these Cinnabons. Oh my god. Actually, I might try that one. That's with Nutella. But a classic Cinnabon and one with Nutella. I'm really tempted to try this. Philip went all in with the gloves. Yeah, because it gets it's like so you're gonna eat lobsters. 
<laughs> okay, wait. I've actually had this before, but it was such a long time ago. Wow, it's so hot. That looks so fucking sick. <laughs> so hot though. Alright, let's go. Good. Sick. That was just a corner piece. Imagine the middle. I feel like a proper food <laughs> channel. <laughs> I didn't love it with Nutella. That's so sick to say. I always, I've always said that. I need to try yours. Nutella is like too much. Okay, it's really hot. This one's really hot. Mmm. Mmm. For sure. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I... Classic. Like even though I love Nutella, it just didn't work together. But the classic, like the the flavor of the cinnamon. Amazing. Now look how much oil. Why is it so like squishy? It's Japanese pancakes. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> oh my god. I love how I bought it and you like it. Mm. Can I try? So good. That was so good. Yeah. Wow. What's inside? Red bean paste. How was it? Cool. Mm, I don't, know. don't like it. Mm? No? Mm, it's okay, not the best. What do you think? I love it. Mm. So I let her know, gotta 